Welcome along to the presentation of the Group 1 Galaxy, which is one of uh, Australia's Premier Group 1 staying events. Very exciting finish there. This Greyhound, on paper, hadn't won a race for a little while, but you're not surprised that she's won? No, look, she's thrived since she's come over. Um, I think I spoke to Shorty up on the radio early on about how you, they said um, get them over here early and settle them in and everything. And uh, I said, well, Robert's probably the master at making them, putting them in the right place at the right time and sending them over. And um, look, I actually think Quick Smart will be a stayer as well, but um, she's just settled in so good in our way of training. So, and the other dog's probably, you know, he's, he's real young, so he's probably not going as well as he was. Like, like it's hard going for 10 in a row in a galaxy. So, uh, if you're going to get beat, you might as well get beat by another dog on the race. So, um, look, I, I just loving it. Robert's over for the weekend. He didn't come up. He's staying at the house. And, um, it's, yeah, might get a sling out of this, eh? <laughs> well, of course, Robert's very used to winning Group 1 races, normally as a trainer. So, it, it's a bit unusual for him to be an owner. But uh, you also got to explain to the other owner, Justin Warwick, how he's, uh, he's, you've knocked him off. Yeah, well, uh, you know, look, Justin's probably just, you know, like he said, one of them days. I thought, you know, like yeah, the... Uh, the all-star mile he probably he was hoping for a bit more luck and then this today and you know like obviously the the four dogs a lot quicker than the eight dog but you know you, you, it's what you are on the day and how you turn up on the day and um he's had a big weekend anyway and he'd be happy for him running third and look i'm shell-shocked but yeah it's just it's just a good feeling that you know like i've had you know with linda had plenty of dogs have won the galaxy over the years and uh uh, for me, uh, this is a great feeling, and uh, you know, no one beats dogs like Paradise Street and Geneva and things like that. But uh, this is a good feeling, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of wild balls on the way home, I reckon. <laughs> well, well done, Chris. It's good to see excited at a race. It's fantastic. You almost get as excited as when you go crabbing, but this this is uh, this is good to see excited about winning something. Uh, it means something, and uh, a well done. First and third is a great training effort. Yeah, look, thanks for everything. Um, yeah, look, uh, I haven't been to dogs for a long time, and it's great that. I've turned up and we get get to win a race like this and um, yeah just doing the interviews and getting back to all the things you do and uh, yeah look uh, look we got a lot of good people around us yeah you know, with Taylor Luke and everyone uh, you know, the staff at home Gordon High and Ross and yeah it's just it's just good that we've got a race like this under our belt. Well, jump in the photo and we'll get some photos. Well done to Speed Freak from the Cradelli Kennel and also to Couch Surfer, the place getters. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Group One Galaxy, uh, the Robert Britton owned, uh, first picked and trained by Chris Hells. Well done.